Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I finished my pages for the Nanny Bee. Um, I showed kind of just my selections and whatnot. But this is what I ended up with. This is the first page, and then there's the Fabulous 70s second page, and I'm really pleased with it. I really love how this turned out, and I kind of had a little trouble getting this the way I wanted it. I, I just, I don't know why... Um, I finally had a little help from Scrubby. He suggested making my um, butterflies. He said, make them look like Peter Max. So, Peter Max was an artist in the 70s. And if you lived during the 70s, you'd know who it is. If you haven't, look him up. It's Peter Max, M A X X. And he did, he like epitomized the 70s, his artwork. Um, and now, um, Anyway, so this is what I did. I The last I showed my chipboard, I had painted it brown and co coated it with um, Spice Marmalade Crackle Paint. Well, then I went and took all my um, Glimmer Mist bottles that I had pulled out. I had Turquoise, Peach Delight, um, uh, Olive Vine, and Purple. I can't remember, but I just sprayed them all over and then I edged all around with um, Spice Marmalade Distress Ink. And then this is one of my little burlap flowers. And these little cuties are these little swirls and then these little flower blings. These are from S.A. Crafter and she sent me a bunch to use. And she's got all kinds of this bling in her store. And I'm going to use some of these for like some 4th of July firework flowers that I'm going to be doing for some journaling spots, but these are really fun. See, this is how this set came. I just love it with the little, I wonder if you can see that very well. There. There. That should show up pretty good. So that's available in her store at Zibit. It's Essay Crafters, and she is, you can find her on YouTube, Essay Crafters, and she has all kinds of links, and I'll put a link down below for her um, store. So that's what I did with this. I this is I kind of used the little squirrels as like little butterfly trails that are flying over here. And then I reduced, I scanned and reduced the um, pattern. I gotta take my glasses off so I can see. And then this is a picture of moi with my Farrah Fawcett hair. And um, this was, Scrubby and I had gone out of town and we were just dating, this was college days. And that's my favorite camel hair jacket. Um, looking into the sun, but that's, I was about 20, 20 years old. Um, so then I used um, some of the paper. This is that basic gray paper. I love it. And I just used the paper all over. This is a tag. Um, Maureen wanted us to put a tag in her book. And this is a Making Memories Chloe's Closet. I think I'm too close. Um, but I'll read it. It's, every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once he grows up. And that's Pablo Picasso. And then I threw out the flowers over here. I enameled some, um, or embossed, I should say. It's kind of like enameling. But I used Tim Holtz embossing distress on his flowers, his metal flowers and brads. And then this is a grunge board from his Sizzix die. And then just some petals from my stash. And then on the back, I put a picture when I was 22, I think. And now, and there's a big difference. <laughs> yeah. Same colored shirt, or top, blouse, whatever. Okay, then over here. Um, oh, and then I found these really fun We Are Memory Keepers eyelets. They're glittery. They're really cool. Pretty flowers and then glittery. Okay, so this is... Um, a Just Chillin' Making Memories canvas tag that just says Fabulous. So I titled mine Fabulous 70s. Just some old thickers. I, I had some. I was going to paint them. And then I found myself at Archivers at the Mall of America. And I went into the thicker aisle and I thought, oh my gosh, those are perfect. Because I wanted to get some of those blues coming out, the turquoise. So then I took some of the paper and just ripped it and glued it down and threw some glimmer mist on. And this is what Scrubby suggested. Okay, see I have some of these metal flowers peeking out. 
everywhere. And then these are little petaloos and buttons. I got some buttons on here. Little brad and some all different flowers. This is a oh this turquoise on the grunge board is gorgeous. And then I just um I did some Tim Holtz grunge board flowers and I embossed them with the let me see. Yeah, I think it's a brocade. Sorry, I took my glasses off so I can see the through the camera here, but I can't see. <laughs> this is all a blur to me. Okay, so um where was I? Oh yeah. So the butterflies I had um just in some of the lighter paper and Scrubby looked and said, yeah, they kind of lose them. And he's really got a good eye for this stuff. I could never get him to sit down and do anything like this, but he's got a great eye for design <clears throat> and color. So he suggested, and this was cool, to do the Peter Max style. So and he, this was all his idea. Cut paper, you know, I, I die cut the papers and then cut the papers in half. So the bottom paper is one paper, and the top half of the butterfly is another paper. I don't know if you can see them. You kind of can see them, but didn't it turn out cute? Then I just put buttons <clears throat> and string, some more swirlies, and I love these pages so much. I'm going to keep them. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. And I just, you know, I know I don't mean to brag. You know, I love them so much. But, you know, sometimes we're so critical of our own work. That when we see something we do that we really like, I say shout it from the rooftops because, you know, sometimes it's so rare because we're so critical. But anyways, maybe you're not. I am. I just, you know. But I think actually being critical, I think that really pushes yourself to, to just do more and better. And, and I do want to say one thing about the travel log is, and any swap, it's not even just this swap, but any swap, um... It really is a great thing to get swaps from other people. And I have a lot of people say, oh, well, I'm new. I'll, you know, I feel embarrassed. I don't know anything. and Or, you know, I don't know all the different techniques. And I say, start out with a swap because every time you get stuff from other people, you can see what they've done and learn new techniques that way. And it's just a great way to learn and a great way to kind of just expand your own art and horizons and um, pretty soon you'll be saying you love everything you do. <laughs> so anyways, that's my page and I love it. I love this one. And um, thanks for letting me share. Thanks. Bye.